Hey, what's up, everybody? For this video, I want to talk about some of uh, you know some of the older Japanese wrestling matches and shows that um, you know I've never got to talk about on YouTube. You know, and some of the stuff I'm just trying to catch up, and I'm actually watching some of the stuff for the first time. And um, I'm glad I did because some of this stuff is just absolutely uh, amazing. So yeah, so uh, maybe you guys could uh, you know look at the description and try to check out some of the good stuff. And uh, trust me, you'll be glad you did. So uh, so let's get right down to it. The first show I want to talk about is the 1994 Super J Cup from uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. And uh, a lot of you guys might be familiar with the show. You know, if you have the Chris Benoit uh, DVD from 2004, they actually put a couple matches uh, from ben with Benoit on it from uh, this tournament. Uh, and, um, you know, this is pretty much regarded as, uh, you know, one of the best, if not arguably the best professional wrestling show of all time. Now, now personally for me, you know, I really can't appreciate it as much as someone that was, you know, really into wrestling at the time and really saw this. I, I, I imagine this was a lot more groundbreaking back in 1994. It doesn't, like, from top to bottom, it doesn't quite hold up. You know, it's a mixed bag of talent. I mean, we had Dean Malenko. You had, uh, you know, El Samurai. You had the great Sasuke, who was amazing on this tournament. You had Jushin Thunder Liger. You had Benoit. Um, uh, Black Tiger, Eddie Guerrero, Taka Michinoko. You know, the, the talent was definitely there. I just thought some of the guys that went over... Uh, shouldn't have went over and um, you know a lot of these guys like Gato, uh, Super Delphin, um, Necrocasis, Ricky Fuji. I mean a lot of these guys just had mediocre showings so I, I'm not going to say like this was you know very well rounded. I mean it, the, the, the show definitely had its highlights and it, it at a certain point the, the show got phenomenal and uh, you know and I would agree with most people this is probably you know one of the best individual performances from anyone on one night and, and I'm talking about the great Sasuke he just had three matches that were uh, superb he had an amazing match or almost amazing match against uh, El Samurai that that really you know the tournament really started to click uh, after that match just just amazing stuff there then you had um, you actually had the great Sasuke and Jushin Thunder Liger these two guys just put on a really really you know exciting match just great stuff some people don't like the finish I actually didn't really mind it I thought it was fine, you know, you, this, the diff, there's a couple ways you can look at it, and if you kind of look at it from a certain way, it's really not that bad, and then the, the finals of the tournament, uh, Chris Benoit, the Wild Pegasus, uh, taking on the Great Sasuke, a lot of people would say this is a five-star match, and it, it's definitely close, it's definitely great stuff, now to me, Benoit really wasn't, you know, in his prime back then, in 1994, you know, he's, I, I think he had a lot more intensity, and was a lot more crisp, um, in the early part of the 2000s i personally for me i think 2003 was probably benoit's best year overall uh from from an in-ring standpoint but um yeah sasuke was amazing here now when we're talking about individual performances in one night uh it's it's definitely up there you know i mean the only other ones that came to my mind was uh you know bret hart in 1993 at the king of the ring i, I you know i never saw the king of the ring 93 in its entirety but i seriously doubt you know Bret got the kind of time that sasuke got on this show um, because th this guy Sasuke almost killed himself in some of these matches, but uh, Angle and uh, Kurt Angle, King of the Ring 2001, is another great individual, you know, night as well for for any wrestler. I, I just thought he he really carried that show and made it a great show. You know, some people thought maybe his tournament matches against Edge and Christian were kind of average. I thought they were pretty good, but you know, the match against Shane McMahon for Angle to wrestle three matches that night and still go out there with Shane McMahon and you know rock the house like him and Shane did. I think Angle uh, deserves a lot of credit for that night as well. But yeah, uh, Super J Cup 1994, uh, a great show. I'll probably give it like an 8.5, 8.75. All right, so uh, next up I want to talk about the uh, Chris Benoit in Japan. The best of Chris Benoit in Japan from IPPvideos.com. Um, you know, if you put a gun to my head, uh, I would say when it comes down to it, uh, Chris Benoit is probably my favorite wrestler of all time. You know, it really, you know, the Benoit tragedy really probably affected me probably a, a little bit more than the average person here on YouTube. So, you know, I just wanted to go back and check out some of, uh, you know, Benoit's stuff from Japan. Now, for this compilation, don't really have any, uh, I can't give you any star ratings for a lot of these matches because some of the matches were clipped. And uh, some of the matches are kind of disappointing, I'll, I'll be honest with you. But um, it, it was pretty cool to see. You know, I, I wouldn't say this was Benoit's best stuff from Japan. I'm sure there's there's probably other stuff out there that I haven't seen. Um the match against Jericho from the uh, Super J Cup from 1995, I think that's really underrated. That didn't make it on here. And obviously the match against the Great Sasuke, uh, that's regarded as his, as his best match from Japan. But from this compilation, I'll just briefly touch on it. Uh, you know, Benoit versus Jushin Thunder Liger. 
with, from 1990 for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. This is actually on his DVD. Benoit's a little bit more high flying. It's a Pegasus kid. He would do like springboard cross bodies. You know, a lot of stuff that Benoit really wasn't, you know, that we're not accustomed to seeing him do, you know, when he was, you know, as wrestling as the Pegasus kid with the mask. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of tag matches with Liger on here that were, you know, just decent. Um, there's actually a match with Benoit and Scott Norton. I believe Scott Norton was in WCW, if I'm not mistaken. They took on the Steiner brothers, which was a, a pretty solid match. Uh, really nothing to, you know, go out of your way to see. Uh, probably the match of the night was Benoit versus El Samurai. I, I thought, I think El Samurai is really underrated. You know, I'm, I'm really impressed with some of the work I've seen him do at the Super J Cup and against Benoit. I thought that was probably, yeah, like I said, the best match from this um, compilation. Also, Benoit fought Re William Regal, a.k.a. Steven Regal. Uh, one of the matches, and you know, Benoit and Regal have had some uh, amazing matches. They're just really, really stiff, really, really uh, uh, technically sound, really brutal. Like you know, they they just have some type of mutual agreement, or they just really get into each other. If you haven't seen a match from Velocity from 2005, they haven't checked it out. That, I really believe that's the best match. And they, they also had the match at the uh, Brian Pillman Memorial uh, Tribute Show, uh, which was very good as well. But and No Mercy of uh, 2006, they had a match as well. But yeah. Uh, this was probably the most disappointing. Just a really weird finish. They really, this really didn't get into that next gear where just like, holy shit, these guys are just beating the shit out of each other. But uh, Benoit versus Koji Kanemoto, that was really good. You know, you seen Koji Moto, uh, Koji Kanemoto and Marafuji. They had a great match last year. So Koji Kanemoto is still pretty good. Um, and uh, Benoit versus uh, Shinjiro Otani, I thought that was uh, a solid four star match as well. And, and then uh, the the match of Liger at the end of it is actually clipped. So, yeah, it's kind of disappointing. Some of these matches were clips. So, uh, but it, it's only $3. So, if you get your hands on it, definitely check it out. All right. So, the next part of the video, I want to talk about some of the, uh, you know, Kabashi and Misawa matches, um, you know, from the uh, mid 90s to the uh, and going into the early days of Pro Wrestling Noah. You know, uh, you know, I've never talked about this stuff on the channel before, but I, I really do. I, you know, I really wanted to make an effort and try to check out all the, uh, some of the, you know, most of the essential stuff that they've been involved with. And, uh, you know, let me start off like this. Uh, last year I checked out the, uh, the tag match from 94 and I, on that same DVD, you actually had, uh, Misawa versus Kawada from 94. Really, you know, two, two of those matches, those two matches are pretty much regarded as, you know, two of the best matches of the nineties without a doubt. And, um, you know, the 94 tag match to me, it seems like it's a little bit more, um, highly regarded but i would say that the 95 tag match is a little bit better it's the same teams you know you got akira Tawe and uh kawada teaming up to take on kabashi and misawa and i just really thought the 95 one just a little bit more satisfying i believe they both went to 60 minutes if i'm not mistaken you know the one about the 90 the 95 one this features uh kabashi really selling the leg injury um that's kind of what makes it a little bit different and um you know just just excellent stuff and i also thought kawada versus misawa they had a match on July 24th, 1995. I thought this was uh, amazing. You know, I, I don't think Meltzer gave this one five stars. He gave the one from 94 five stars, you know, Kawada versus Misawa. That's pretty much more highly regarded. But don't sleep on this one. The one from 95, I thought it was, uh, you know, almost just as good. So let's talk about Misawa versus Kabashi. Um, volume 2 uh, from 1997. Oh, holy shit, this was great stuff. I thought the stuff from 97 was really underrated. You don't really hear a lot about the 97 stuff. Uh, if you ask most people what was the best Kabashi Misawa match, I think most people would say the Noah match from 2003, which is my personal favorite, or you know the one from Halloween of uh, 1998 gets a lot of love too. But yeah, definitely check out the uh, 97 stuff. The first match from January 97. Great, great stuff. I mean, these two guys, I mean, it's just like when they're in the ring together, it's just like you just you just feel like you're watching something special. And uh, you know, after watching all this stuff, I could totally understand why there was such you know why Misawa was such a big draw in Japan. You know, even when he was like during the later stages of his career, like in 2007, 2008. Um, so let's move on to uh, Volume Three. Uh, you got some tag matches on here, but Volume Three this features Misawa versus Kabashi from Halloween of '98. Yeah, this is really highly regarded. You know, most people would say this this is probably their best one. This featured. Um, Misawa doing the Tiger Bomb or Tiger Driver to Kabashi uh, off the edge of the ring apron onto the outside. Kabashi almost goes flying over the guardrail. I mean, just uh, wow, just amazing stuff. And you could, I, I, you could definitely tell they got a little bit better since their '97 matches, but you know, just great stuff there. And then uh, the next volume, uh, 
featured Masao versus Kabashi from 1999. This was great as well. Five stars, without a doubt. That, that went about maybe 40 minutes. Just as good as all the other stuff, in my opinion, almost. Uh, the one from 2000, you could, it's a little bit weaker than, you know, some of the other stuff. But, you know, the, the match from Noah from uh, 2003. Holy shit, this was fucking great. Uh, I would say this is definitely my top 10 pro wrestling matches of all time. I thought it was that good. Now, this featured, uh, I'm going to say the sickest bump ever. Uh, they're like on the ramp, right? And then uh, Masawa gives uh, Kabashi um, a dragon suplex off the ramp onto the floor. Uh, you know, I was, I was watching it with my brother, and we, we thought Kabashi was dead. I mean, it was crazy stuff. And, you know, they had a match from 2004 on here, which was only like 10 to 15 minutes. But, yeah, yeah, definitely check out the Kabashi Masawa stuff. Just just amazing, though. amazing stuff. I really... God, if you haven't seen any of this stuff, you're definitely missing out. So uh, definitely, yeah, it's just, most of the stuff is on YouTube. So definitely check it out. All right, next up, I want to talk about the Dragon Gate pay per view from 2008. Now this features Kenta and Dragon Gate. Now, Kenta wrestled for Dragon Gate on a couple uh, occasions back in 2008, and man, um, this did not disappoint. I, I don't know why uh, we don't hear a lot about this. You know, you, you hear some of the match of the year candidates from 2008. People talk about the Burning versus Kensuke Office match, the Ric Flair versus Shawn Michaels. Um, you know, not really a lot of ROH stuff comes up. Um, but, you know, I think this is definitely one of the uh, the best matches from 2008. Uh, definitely. You know, we have Taishi Ishimori, who I think is really underrated. It doesn't seem like he gets a lot of respect. Uh, he, t he teamed up with Kenta to take on Shingo and BB Hulk. I mean, what more can you ask for? You get Kenta and Shingo going at it. You know, these two should have had a match in ROH in 2007. If they knew how good Shingo was going to be, these two definitely should have locked horns. You could just feel it with those two guys. And uh, Ishimori looked great. BB Hulk, you know, really athletic stuff from them. This match was amazing, I, I would tell you. Um, just uh, it really, really, you know, very, very satisfying. You guys won't be disappointed. You know, Kenta and Dragon Gate, it sounds very sexy, and it definitely lived up to expectations. Um, you know, also, you know, we have Susumu Yokosuka. Um, Rio Sato, Dragon Kid taking on Naruki Doi, uh, Yasushi Kanda, and Gamma. Vintage Dragon Gate action. You'll get all your, you know, vintage Dragon Gate stuff, Hurricanranas, um, you know, uh, what is Naruki Doi? The Doi Fives, the, the uh, shotgun dropkick, everything, all the vintage Dragon Gate stuff in this match you're accustomed to. You'll get your Dragon Gate fix from that match. Four star match, great stuff. And, uh, you know, main event was uh, Shima versus Masato Yoshino. And, uh, you know, these guys had a great main event. It's pretty much all I could say. Now, before this match, they actually showed clips of this match from 2004. I had no idea Masato Yoshino was, like, jacked up and had, like, long blonde hair back in uh, the early 2000s. Didn't know that. They had a lot of history. And, uh, you know, this is one of the best uh, singles matches I've seen Shima have. So, uh, great show here. The last three matches were really, really great. A pretty mediocre undercard, but definitely check it out. You get Kenta and Dragon Gate. What more can you ask for? All right, so next up, I want to talk about a Pro Wrestling Noah show from uh, 2007. Now, when Ring of Honor went out to the um, to Japan, uh, they actually wrestled. Some of the guys actually wrestled on the Noah shows before the actual Ring of Honor shows. And um, you now you got Brian Danielson on the show, uh, Naja McGinnis, um, Go Shizaki, uh, Morishima, uh, the Briscoes. So it, it, a lot of ROH talent on the show. David Richards was in the opening match. He actually, you know, made this a, a really good Noah opener. Um, you know, the, the Danielson and, and Naja were kind of used like mid carters on the show, which was kind of disappointing. Um, you know, Masao was actually in the main event. He took on Akira Tawe. Uh, we're pretty interesting. Obviously, you can't, at, at, at that age, Masao really wasn't, you know, spectacular, but um, pretty interesting because, you know, Tawe was the guy he faced in a lot of those vintage tag matches from 94, 95. So that, that was pretty cool to check out. But, um, you know, the, um, the match of the night was definitely Kenta and Ishimori taking on Naramichi Marafuji and Kota Ibushi. This is one of the best tag matches I ever saw. You know, when um, when Gabe, Gabe Sapolsky, the former book from Ring of Honor, when he saw this match, he said, this is about Kota Ibushi. He said, I've never been that impressed with anyone since since the first time when I saw Sabu live. So, uh, you know, he was just blown away with Ibushi. This is definitely Kota's uh, coming out party uh, for what, you know, some of the United States fans saw. And, uh, you know, like I said, just one of the best tag matches of the year. I can't quite go the full five. I think there's just some, something miss, missing to give it five stars. But um, uh, definitely, I believe this was actually runner-up uh, for the match of the year in 2007 from the Pro Wrestling Observer. I think Danielson and Morishima actually won match of the year in 2007. And also, let me talk about the Briscoes versus Kotoro Suzuki and Ricky Marvin. A great tag match. They went to a 30-minute time limit draw. Uh, not quite as good as the match that they had from uh, January 2007. That featured, like, the sickest counter to the Doomsday device ever. 
uh yeah so um but yeah it, it was still good though you know still a four star 30 minute uh time limit draw this is kensuke office versus basically noah and um it really you know this is an elimination tag match it went almost about an hour uh really really amazing stuff i mean uh, this is pretty much nakajima's coming out party i mean this really set the tone for you know the rivalry that nakajima and kenta would have going into 2009 and uh you know kabashi looked good you know the kabashi you know